Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to fix our maps tutorial which we had from last time which we kind of left it out with the Google search. This time we're actually going to have a Wikipedia search. So I'm going to open up the simulator and we, if you look at the interface in the first view controller it might seem like nothing has really changed. But if we press search, we get taken to Wikipedia. And we can search up anything from Google to Apple. Um, so basically, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with this. And if you're typing stuff in as a space, like a MacBook Pro, you have to use an underline, otherwise it glitches out. So, let's go ahead and we're going to open up Xcode, and I'll show you the code. So basically, what we changed was we added two more outlets, one for the search bar and one for the search button. And we also add an IB we also add an IB action for the search bar button. And we also added a timer that runs at a super fast speed, which is basically infinite. And it runs this function that checks if the search bar has no text in it. If it doesn't have any text, this part will give you an error. So when there's no text, the button disappears. Now, what we did back here in main.storyboard, we added, we basically made this web view a little bit smaller because, because we needed room for, for the search bar and the search button. As you can see, there's not really much different to these views of, so, Basically, we didn't really change anything in these two, but we did change a lot in here. And we remember here that we did some like wik search on Wikipedia stuff, and yes, we still have that Wikipedia search, and we do not need that or that. And so basically, we we're doing the segue through the code because we had that before, and then we could do some stuff to prepare. Now we now we could delete that segue, but it would be more work for us. And if you see, delete that segue and make a button segue directly from the view controllers. But that that that's just gonna cause more work, and that thing's not really bothering us at all. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I forgot to t show you what happens when you actually don't put a space, don't put an underscore when you when you're typing something with a space. You just type it directly with the space. Here's what it gives you. Search. Book Pro. And yes, the app does glitch up. Long story short, if you see, you can you can see that you if you don't put an underscore. And yes, in the next video, we'll probably find a way to fix that so that you can put a space. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe and like. Yes, I will be posting this code. Remember, don't don't put you always put underscores when you're trying to search up something, and this is actually very useful because like if you're in a place and you don't know what that like let's say you're in somewhere in like Europe and then you don't know where you are and then you could find your location and then search it up. So bye.